So Josh Berry says that he wants a shot at a Cup Series ride. Hey everyone, so before I get started, I just want to quickly say I apologize for not being as active in the comments or posting any videos lately. My wife and I were on vacation exploring the beautiful state of Arizona, and I really just wanted to focus on our time together and uh, not worry too much about what was going on on YouTube for a little while. And then once we got back, some other things got a little bit crazy, but I am back now and looking forward to having more time to focus on the channel. So let's dive into today's topic. I knew a little bit of Josh Berry's story, but I didn't feel like I knew enough about him to make this video. So I started doing my homework by listening to some interviews with him. What I took away from those interviews is that he's a great guy with a great story. And basically, he's NASCAR's version of Crash Davis. If you don't know who Crash Davis is, go watch Bull Durham and thank me later. The reason why I call him Crash Davis is because Josh Berry has actually been the mentor to guys who are in the Cup Series today, like William Byron. Just, he never got his shot at one of NASCAR's top three series, at least not on a consistent basis, until last year when he ran most of the Xfinity Series schedule and won two races and managed to turn that into a full-time ride in the Xfinity Series this year. This year, he's won two more races and is currently fifth in points, and is looking like a legit championship contender. I don't think it's possible to watch Bull Durham without wishing that Crash got his shot at the Major Leagues, and I really hope that Josh Berry gets his shot at the Cup Series. But where does he fit in? Well, let's be realistic. He's not going to get a ride at Hendrick or Penske or Trackhouse or Gibbs. Those seats are taken, and even if they weren't, I don't think he has the financial backing for those kind of seats. They're going to require a lot of money coming in with him. The 10 car may be open at SHR, but I don't think that he has the backing for that either. But there is one seat that could open up that I think he would be a great fit for, and that's the 77 car at Spire Motorsports. Actually, he's already run two races for Spire Motorsports last year. Even though Josh Balicki is running the majority of the schedule this year and Justin Haley ran the majority of the schedule last year, Spire has never committed to just one driver in the 77 car. But that could change. And if it does, Barry would be a great fit, at least in my humble opinion. He'd be an underdog driver driving for an underdog team, but I honestly believe that Spire is a team with success in its future. I kind of see them as being like Furniture Row Racing was, having a long, slow road toward being an ultimately successful team, which is pretty fitting considering Spire is essentially the ghost of Furniture Row. I think that pairing Corey LaJoy and Josh Berry could really help solidify that team's road to success and make for an exciting pairing. Of course, if Barry sticks around in the Xfinity series for next year, which if we're being honest is probably the most likely scenario, then the landscape of available opportunities could change. But I think he should go for it if this opportunity presents itself. He's proven that he has the talent to be a legit competitor in the Xfinity series. And while he might not have the typical story of a Cup Series prospect, he's more than deserving of the opportunity. If you want to hear more about him and his story from his own words, he's done some really great interviews on Dale Jr. Download. The biggest takeaway is that he's a great guy who has put the work in and deserves every opportunity he gets and more. So that's what I've got for today. Again, I apologize for not being very active for the last few weeks. I've just had some other stuff going on in other areas of life, but I'm looking forward to devoting more time to the channel now. Please like the video and subscribe so we can grow the channel, and please let me know what you think in the comments. Also, any constructive criticism in the comments is more than appreciated. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.